Hello everyone and welcome to Ola Joe the Crocheting Sailor. I am coming on to share with you and to answer a question from a subscriber. The question was, how do you know what hook size to use with yarn? How do you determine that? There is a standard yarn system that we use and I will start off by letting you know that we have eight different yarn weights for our standard system. I'll put them up on the screen so you can see it starts from zero and it goes all the way up to seven, which is jumbo. Zero being lace weight. I determine which hook size I'm going to use based on three different things. First would be what's on the ball band. The second one would be what the pattern calls for. And third would be gauge. If you do a gauge swatch, this will help you and guide you to what hook size you use. In determining gauge, you would need to either go up a hook size or maybe go down a hook size. So let's look at this one here. This is Aunt Lydia's Crochet Thread, Classic 10, 100% cotton. And this is a zero lace weight. It's recommending that we use a 1.5 millimeter hook. Our yarn weight system tells us that we can go from a 1.5 millimeter all the way up to a 2.25 millimeter hook. Here is a Stanley cotton cake. And it recommends a two to a 2.5. So this is in line with the Craft Yarn Council and with our yarn weight standard chart. I did want to point out with the Craft Yarn Council, they do say that lace weight yarns are usually knitted or crocheted on larger needles or hooks to create lacy and open work patterns. Accordingly, a gauge range is difficult to determine. So always follow the gauge stated in your pattern. My next example is Red Heart, It's a Wrap Rainbow. It is 55% acrylic and 45% cotton. This is super fine. The recommended hook size is a four millimeter crochet hook, which is our G. Here is our G hook. But according to the standard weight system, we can go from a 2.25, so our B, and we can go all the way up to a 3.25. So I have B, C, and D, all right? Those are what's recommended according to our standard. Now we can do some shawls with this super fine weight. We can do socks, a lot of other things with this, a lot of other projects, but that's why it's important to do a gauge swatch to determine which one of these sizes is going to work. Now, starting with the ball band, I would say you would wanna do this first. This particular yarn is and has three strands. You see that? So you would have to definitely give it a test and see what works for you. But if the pattern calls for you to use this G that's on the ball band or to go down a hook size, I would recommend that you do what the pattern calls for. Now this right here is working just fine. 
And this is our G. It's looking really good here. And then you'll be able to get into the stitches. But if you wanted something that was tighter, you would definitely want to use one of the smaller hooks. And let's go ahead and give this a try. Let's go to the lowest one, which was that B, and see what happens there. So you will sometimes have to do a little trial and error when using some of the yarns. Let me start over really quickly. So here's our B hook. And as you can see, the stitches are closer together and a lot tighter. Also, you can use this B hook if you wanted to do amigurumi using a super fine yarn, you could do that. It would make your stitches tighter. So for our two weight yarn, I went ahead and grabbed Dawn Aaron Loving Hands Creations yarn. If you don't know her, y'all need to go and check her out. She dyed some beautiful yarn. On the back, it says number two fingering. And for the hook size, it recommends this four millimeter crochet hook. This is 100 grams, 410 yards. And this is Ocean Sunset hand dyed. Our weight standard, it recommends a 3.25 millimeter to a 3.75. So just a tad bit lower, they recommend. So you definitely would have to test it out. I would go with the ball band first. And then if that's not going to work for you, depending on what pattern you use go with what the pattern calls for so next we have what's called a lightweight three and the recommended crochet hook size is a 4.5 this is yarn b soft and sleek dk it's a low peel fiber yarn this is very pretty this is called ox blood and I have my clover here. I was a clover girl before I was a furls girl. Some of my faves. I also pulled out the 100% bamboo Lucky Brand bamboo yarn. And this is a three weight. It recommends a five millimeter hook. So that is interesting. Let's see. Let's see if I can pull this out so you guys can see. It's a little bit thicker than the Yarn B yarn, and that's probably why they recommend a five instead. Here is a five millimeter crochet hook. This is a, the H. Now on the standard chart, it does show a 3.75 to a 4.5 millimeter. Our next example is Happy Place. This is T.O. Yarn Crafts yarn. She did a collab with Hobie. And this is also a lightweight three. So it's 50% cotton and 50% wool. And the recommended crochet hook size is a five millimeter crochet hook. And it is a lot thicker than this DK. Very obvious, you see that? And that's why we would need an H instead of a G for this one. All right, here is the favorite in the room. It is the four weight, the medium weight four. So I pulled out two. I pulled out Lion Brand Ice Cream Cotton Blend Yarn. 
and it's 47% cotton, 53% acrylic, and the recommended hook size is a 5.5, which is our eye hook. Here is Big Twist. This is 100% acrylic. This is the Big Twist Value yarn. And on the ball band, it recommends a five millimeter hook. So even though these two are a medium weight four, you can see that the Big Twist is significantly larger than the ice cream yarn. And the ice cream yarn recommends a larger hook size than the Big Twist. So that's why doing a gauge swatch is very important when doing some of these projects. The smaller and thinner four weights recommend the larger size hook. That's why gauge is so important. And this Big Twist Value yarn is a lot thicker than these, as you can tell. And this requires an H hook. Here is another example right here. This is from Hobby Lobby. It is, I love this yarn. Super soft, super savings. This is stone wash, so pretty. And this one I had to share. It's 100% acrylic. This is a medium weight four, but it recommends a 5.5 millimeter which is an eye hook. I will put the Bulky 5 up on the screen. For a Bulky 5, you can do a lot of different projects with that. You can make rugs, you can do chunky sweaters, chunky hats. So the standard would be a 5.5 all the way up to an eight millimeter hook, which would be this one right here. That's our L11 crochet hook. So now we're getting into the bigger projects. Okay, now we're getting into the bulky six. So this can be any kind of roving style yarn, something that's super chunky. I love t-shirt yarn, one of my faves. This is Wool in the Gang yarn, Jersey Be Good, which is 98% cotton and 2% elastane. And when you look at the ball band, it does not have a recommended hook size. So you could go with the standard or go with what the pattern calls for. And sometimes for this, I will use an eight or a nine millimeter hook if I'm going to make a bag or something like that see if I have a yeah so this eight would really work for this one if you wanted to work something up but for this one an eight all the way up to a 12.75 is the standard so if we wanted to make our chain this eight millimeter would definitely work there we are right there i also pulled out some big twist t-shirt yarn this is 100 percent recycled polyester this is 400 grams it says super bulky and the recommended crochet hook size is a nine millimeter so we're right on target and on point with that. Oh, this is so pretty. Yes, so let me see if I can use this eight with this. Let's see how this works out. I love this color. This is called banana. This is very pretty. Nice for the summertime. Oh yes, this L11. This eight millimeter is working great 
with this, even though it recommends a nine millimeter. Your stitches would just be a lot tighter. Here's another example. This is Yarnspirations Burnett Baby Blanket Dappled. And on the ball band, it shows a super bulky six and the recommended crochet hook size is an eight millimeter, that L11. And this is called Rosy. Very, very pretty. So if you wanted to do some blankets, you want to do some rugs or something like that this is what they recommend but again like i said on the chart on our standard chart it shows an eight all the way up to a 12.75 i will put an example on the screen but last but not least is our jumbo which is the seven so with the chart it shows that the recommended size is a 12.75 millimeter or larger. And I would say go ahead and try them out and see what hook will work for you. I pulled out the Furls R hook, which is a 20 millimeter. The S, which is a 25. And this last one, the big one, the big kahuna, is the 30 millimeter. Thank you all for tuning in to Old Joe the Crocheting Sailor. I greatly appreciate you all. I hope this was very, very helpful for you and anyone out there in determining what and how you decide what hook to use with the yarn. Just remember, you can use what's on the ball band, you can use what the pattern calls for, and you can also do a gauge swatch and determine for yourself. So you all have a wonderful one. And remember to live each day as if it were your last. I'll see you guys on the YT.